everyone, welcome to Booster Shooter. I'm Brennan, and so close to the pre-release of Aether Revolt. Oh, you can almost taste it. Anyway, let's get to the top 10 comms on commons in white, starting with a number 10, Alley Evasion. So, this is a one mana combat trick. It's an instant. You get to choose one. Target creature you control gets plus one, plus two until end of turn, or return target creature you control to its owner's hand. I like it. It's cheap. It makes it so you can kill their thing and your thing still lives with the plus one, plus two. It also bounces your creature to save it from removal or from bad blocks if they have a combat trick. It's not very exciting, but for one mana, eh, I'm going to run this in white no matter what. So, number 10, Alley Evasion. And number 9, Aeronaut Admiral. Three and a white for a creature, human pilot. He has flying, he's a 3-1, and he gives vehicles you control half flying. Four mana for a 3-1 flyer. Not very exciting, but it does beat pretty hard if they don't have a blocker. But if they have anything, like a Thopter, it's going to die because of that one toughness. Oh, man, but... That three is going to hurt so much. And flyers and sealed, so great. The give vehicles flying, it doesn't matter that much. If vehicles, that's an upside. If you don't, eh, whatever. You're going to play them no matter what. So, number nine, Aeronaut Admiral. And number eight, Countless Gears Renegade. One a white for a 2-2 creature, Dwarf Artificer. It has revolt, and its revolt trigger is you get a 1-1 servo token. Okay, so, it's a bear. It's a 2-2 two -two for two. We're used to that. It's the standard. But giving that 1-1 one, one is like paying 2 mana for a 3-3 three, three almost. 3 power at least. So I like that. And the servo is an artifact. So if you have Improvise or something, other cards that care about artifacts, that helps. Early game, Revolt's probably not going to happen. Like turn 2, you're not going to get that servo probably. But later in the game, this does, you know, a nice little trading up. It's not just a 2-2 two, two for 2. It's 2 mana for probably a... Three power, so I like it. It's not exciting, but if you have white, you're gonna run it. You might even run multiples in your two slots. So number uh, number eight, countless gears renegade. Uh, number seven, dawn feather eagle. Four and a white for a creature bird. It's a three three. It has flying, and when dawn feather eagle enters the battlefield, creatures you control get plus one plus one and gain vigilance until end of turn. Wow. So five mana for a three three flyer. Not a great, but like I said, flying, I love it. And three power, three toughness, that's good. But that ability, oh man. Give all your creatures plus one, plus one, and vigilant, so they attack great, and they can block next turn. I mean, this is like, if you go wide, this is probably a great mana, like, curve ender, because it could just win you the game. It's so good. Go and run this in white, even if you're not going wide. It's just, does so much work. Love it. That's why it's number seven, Dawn Feather Eagle. And number six. Felidar Guardian, three and a white for a 1-4 Cat Beast. When it enters the battlefield, you may exile another target permanent you control, then return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control. Ugh, Guardian. So, you get to reuse, like, any ETB you have on a creature, you or permanent, actually. Um, you can, if your creature has Revolt, it just gets to do it, like, automatically, because it's leaving the battlefield, and when it comes back, revolt triggers. So nice. I mean, that's pretty much all you can do. There's no, like, infinite combo and limit you could do or anything. Anyway, so it's my number six, Felidar Guardian. And number five, Dead Eye Harpooner. Two and a white for a creature, Dwarf Warrior. It's a 2-2, two -two and it has revolt, and its revolt trigger is... Destroy target tapped creature and opponent controls. Ooh, so much, so much give and pull here. I mean, three mana for a 2-2, two -two, that's not good. That's not, ew, no. But that revolt trigger, that's great. Destroy something that's a creature that's tapped. The problem is, is revolt going to happen enough? I don't know. Um, gonna guess, I mean, I think it will. But when it doesn't, this card kind of sucks. But what's nice is you can set it up easily. So they have a tap creature and a revolt triggers. Boom, you get to play this. So you're not going to play it on turn three unless you can have the revolt trigger. You're going to keep it back for when you can kill something. But I still like it. I'm definitely still going to play it. And that's why it's number five, Dead-Eyed Harpooner. Number four, Restoration Specialist. One a white for a 2-1 creature, Dwarf Artificer. Pay one white, sacrifice it, return up to one target artifact card and up to one target enchantment card from your graveyard to your hand. 
Oh, I love this guy. So for two mana, you get a two one, which is great early game because it can attack like really well. If they don't have any blockers, you hit them from for two late game when it's out class, you can just pay the one white sack it, get your best enchantment or artifact back to your hand. I mean, oh, you actually can get and or, I mean, that's so good. It's so good. And whenever you sack it, revolt trigger right there. So you're gonna run this any white deck to one single white so you can splash it. Love this card. Uh, it's white's number four, Restoration Specialist. And number three, Airdrop Aeronauts. Three white white for a creature Dwarf Scout. It's a four three with flying and it has a revolt trigger. When it uh, enters the battlefield of a permanent you control left the battlefield this turn, you gain five life. So five mana for four three flyer, you're gonna play that no matter what. I mean, that's good. That's really good. Uh, but uh, the Revolt Trigger, just gravy. I mean, if it doesn't happen, that's fine. I mean, if it does happen, so good. Double white, though. That kind of sucks. You're not going to splash this. But in any white deck, it's a flyer. It's going to beat hard. Um, there are, like, some things that can kill it because it's only three toughness. But it's still fine. I mean, it's out of shock range. That's great. That's why I love this card. Number three, Airdrop Aeronauts. Number two, Cotton the Brights. Two and a white for enchantment or enchant creature. Enchant creature can't attack or block. When a vehicle you control attacks, exile enchanted creature. Oh, so good. Three mana for a pacifism, basically. But if you have a vehicle, you can attack. And whenever that happens, you get to exile it. So it's a hard removal then. So if they try to bounce it or something, there you go. That's a way to get rid of it. Love this card. Any white deck's going to run it. It's premium common removal. Single white so you can splash it. Everything about this is great. The art's great. The whole flavor of it's great. Love it. So it's number two, Caught in the Brights. And my uh, number one white common or uncommon is Thopter Arrest. When the Thopter Arrest enters the battlefield, exile target artifact or creature an opponent controls until Thopter Arrest leaves the battlefield. Okay, so it's like a nerfed Oblivion Ring, but then Oblivion Ring's pretty amazing. So this is still really great. Uh, you're going to take this no matter what. It's removal for any creature, any artifact. Love that. Oh, man. This card, that's why it's number one. I mean, it's removal. And it's great removal. So, love it. Uh, so, white. Not very exciting. Um, it's solid. I'll play it. Has flyers. Has great removal. I like it. I'm not in love with it. But, it's white. I mean, what are you going to do? <laughs> Anyway, if you want to follow me on Twitter, boost your underscore tutor, and see you tomorrow for the next, well, not color, because it's artifacts, so no colors, but also it's multicolor, so it's all the colors. Anyway, see you tomorrow.